Hello from Tamales Bay. Welcome to another video. We are here in the Point Reyes National Seashore area. And it's a very long bay, if not the longest in the state of California. It's a gorgeous day. The sun is shining. The water is warm. We're going to see lots of wildlife and check out some beautiful nature. So let's get to it. Yeah, come kayak Tamales Bay with us. Hi, I'm Avi. And I'm V. Join us in our explorations of the central coast of California. And our adventures beyond. Located in Point Reyes Station, Blue Waters Kayaking is a full service shop providing everything from individual rentals to guided group tours. How's it going, bro? Good. <laughs> You want to come inside? Yeah, that'd be great. Sure. Yeah, we have the dogs today, so Kila, Jerry, Ooh. and Jack. The doggy love. Where are you guys from again? Santa Cruz. Oh, cool. So this is your backyard. Yeah. Easy to hop up here. We're down here in Point Reyes Station. You launch from Heart's Desire Beach up here. Mm -hmm. um, you, we have another launching little spot up here at Nick's Go where you can go paddle from out. Otherwise, Drake Sestero is here, and then we'll launch from, from here. Uh, on a half day, we'll usually go out into Home Bay, and on a full day, we'll duck into Home Bay and then come out to the mouth, wow. where we have a great view out, out to the city from here and out in the ocean, and then we'll paddle back from, along the west side so you get a chance to go all the way around. Sick! Yeah, right? Pretty cool. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for your time, yeah, man. Course, Appreciate man. it. We'll have be seeing day. you. Well, good luck. Have a great day. Thanks, Thanks day, man. man. You take care. Yeah. Well, we just cinched up our kayaks. Yeah, blue water kayaking here in Point Reyes Station. We rented these kayaks online ahead of time, paid for it online. They were super helpful, gave us all the information about the area, and helped us load our kayaks. Yeah, they talked to us about the inclement weather for the day, and uh, what kind of uh, wildlife to expect and where, and uh, where it's easier to paddle and where it's more challenging. So, we're stoked. So we're gonna get out on the water. Next so, stop, Heart's Desire Beach. Yeah, uh, I'm actually a little nervous. How are you feeling? <laughs> Good, I'm excited. I'm excited too, but uh, yeah, this, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's do it. We're here at Heart's Desire Beach. This is where we're gonna launch from. We actually have to unload our kayaks and then we're going to carry them individually out and launch from that beach over yonder. There's a, quite a few different places you can launch from depending on where you want to go for the day, but this was the one recommended as being one of the prettiest and nicest to paddle. It's about 20 minutes drive or so from where we rented the kayaks to get to here. Parking was, what, eight bucks? Parking was eight bucks, seven bucks for seniors. Just play that on the dashboard. Easy peasy. Yep. This also happens to be a wonderful spot to come for a swim and even a little family barbecue. There's a special area just for swimmers that they say no boats. Yeah, shallow water, calm waves, picnic tables, bathrooms, great amenities here. It's a beautiful day. Let's get on the water. Let's do this. T minus two minutes to launch, folks. I'm getting excited. It's a beautiful day out here. Clear skies and a little bit of a breeze. And this is gonna be awesome. How would you say the water is compared to Santa Cruz water? Much warmer. Way warmer than but Santa Cruz water. It's, <laughs> it's not the ocean bar. though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. It's cold. Yeah. First stop of the day is Indian Beach, also known locally as culturally inappropriately named beach. Okay, so this beach is kind of glittered in seashells. Yeah, it is. All broken up, thousands of broken up seashells. Yeah. Not the nicest to walk on. No, we're in bare feet. Yeah. It's called Indian Beach because of these little wooden teepees, but I don't know if they're historical or, or what, I don't know. Nothing about them. They certainly don't look new. Well, let's check it out here. Kind of 
cool little. Yeah. Nice protection from the wind in here if you're buffeted. It can, it can get windy out here. much folks well this is a nice relaxing place to eat a sandwich and enjoy the beautiful view yeah we're gonna have a little picnic lunch that we brought with us you can camp overnight here and yeah. this is one of the beaches where fire rings are allowed so it's apparent that people have slept here before and enjoyed a similar view. Yeah. It's a nice little flat spot to camp a lot of people do overnight kayak and camping trips here. There's quite a few beaches you can only reach via kayak and you can get permits to camp there. Yeah, you just kayak in and of course take only photographs and leave only footprints. It's only like the second or third beach up yeah, from where we launched. Yeah, uh, it took us about an hour and we were definitely taking our time. Mm -hmm. um, probably get here in a half an hour if you just... Shot straight yeah. here. Yeah, we have to have the kayaks back by 4.30 and it's at least a 20 minute drive back and you've got to land and load everything up so you got to be off the water by 3.30 at the latest, I would say. All over this beach there's like thousands of these little shells everywhere. Pick one up, turn it over. That one's empty. Are they all empty? No, there's somebody in there. He's just in there deep. I can't really see. I mean, look at how cool, they look like rat turds. Yeah, no, there's snails in every one of these though. They're not dead. They're just waiting for low tide no, for the water to come back. They got stranded here when the tide. So literally thousands or maybe tens of thousands of these things all along this entire beach. Yeah, no, there's, there, there are thousands, like, thousands, like, and thousands, thousands and thousands. Thousands and thousands. All the way, all the way down on the end there, all the way all through every little crevice yeah and they're thick like this it's pretty crazy i hope the tide returns soon for you guys yeah those people back there have a awesome little camp set up going they're gonna spend the night here they rowboated or sailboated in towing their little canoe with all their stuff it's pretty sweet so we had stopped here for lunch and we've been here for about an hour and we thought we pulled our kayaks far enough up shore. The tide's coming in. We got back just in time. Look at this. One of our kayaks would have been gone in 20 more minutes. It's bobbing and bobbing. So, if you do stop at these beaches and you walk away from your kayaks at all, just pull it up past any of the wet sand. Just be smart. A little effort could save you from having to go chase down your boat. So this is a really cool perspective right here. Right there is the first beach we stopped at with the teepees. 
Right there is the beach that we just had lunch at. And then just right here past the next little rock outcropping is the beach that Avi's currently landed on. Behind me here is Long Cove. It's very long. I'm gonna head to shore now to join Avi on this next beach. All right, so we found a new place to hang out. Yeah, we stopped at the next beach down. And it's this cool kind of little point that shuts out and has beaches on both sides. Yeah, I could totally see myself spending a night here and camping out here, maybe even with a guitar. <laughs> All right a little fire pit and a little place to build a tent. One thing we've noticed about every beach that we've stopped at here though is a noticeable lack of trash. Everything's very clean and pristine. People really seem to respect the pack your trash rule. If you come here, definitely do that. It keeps it clean and gorgeous and beautiful for everyone else. All right, but uh, now it's the time we're gonna head back. We've reached our final cutoff point. Sure is. Definitely cooled down a little bit. have just been amid the storm, this dense of these moon bellies the entire time. There literally must be hundreds of thousands of them. It's hard to paddle without feeling like you're gonna hit them. It's pretty impressive. Big pink one here. Ooh, hello, beautiful. Oh my gosh. So just <laughs> stirring the water brings up a whole bunch of uh, moon jellyfish that are beautiful to see. There's tens of thousands of them. If there's any of there's I've, I've seen hundreds today. They're just six to 12 inches below the surface. Amazing. This is the most present life form I've seen today. Yeah. Yeah, there must be hundreds of thousands of these guys. Okay. All right, well, that was kayaking in Tamales Bay. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. The weather stayed great all day. It was beautiful, it was gorgeous, it was warm. The wind was against us just at the very end. Yeah. My arms are a little tired. <laughs> yeah, we had to fight to get back the last little bit, but it's okay, it wasn't to too bad. Totally worth it though, we highly yeah. recommend it. Definitely, and if you should come up here, I would definitely recommend looking into doing an overnight camping trip, because that just would be so much fun. So thanks for joining us on our little kayak adventure. We'll see you in the next one. Be sure to join us for the next part of this adventure when we explore Point Reyes National Seashore. And make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when we're gonna drop our next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Ciao. I like to look at my wife's guns. She's got some guns, folks. Look out.